Columbus Shorts wife swears the scandal actor tried to kill himself and her last week with a knife. The allegation is part of Taney Shorts affidavit filed Tuesday asking for a restraining order against her husband to keep him away from her and their two-year-old daughter. She also filed for divorce after nine years of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. A judge signed a temporary restraining order and set a hearing for May 6th to decide whether it would be extended. 31-year-old Columbus Short plays Harrison Wright, a member of Fixer Olivia Pope's team on the hit ABC series. In a statement Thursday to CNN, the actor said he would refrain from sharing his side of the story. As you know, lately my personal life has been subjected to a lot of press. As much as I would like to provide my side of events, my counsel has instructed me that a court of law is the only improper venue to deal with such matters. Accordingly, I must refrain from making any comments, even though that is very difficult for me under the circumstances. Thank you to my fans for your continued support during this difficult time. According to court filings, the actor has been to jail at least three times for violence in the past three months. The 12 Years of Slave actress has not only won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, she signed the deal with cosmetic giant Lancome to become its first black ambassador, and now People Magazine has bestowed one of the highest honors upon her. 2014's Most Beautiful Person. The Mexican-born Kenyan beauty joins a cast of Hollywood A-listers who have headed the list, including Julia Roberts, Cindy Crawford, Tom Cruise, and Beyonce. This year, she topped others on the list, including the American star Carrie Russell, singer Pink, and Johnny Depp's future wife, actress Amber Heard. During the 2014 awards season, Nyong'o was often hailed for being one of the most fashionable on the red carpet. She made headlines in February for a moving speech she gave while accepting the Best Breakthrough Performance Award at the 7th Annual Black Women in Hollywood Luncheon. I remember a time when I too felt unbeautiful, she said. I put on the TV and only saw pale skin. I got teased and taunted about my nightshaded skin. The actress told today Savannah Guthrie that she was moved by people's naming her the most beautiful. I'm flattered, but flattered sounds like such a fighty word, you know. I'm flattered with, like, gravitas under it, she said. This year's most beautiful cover issue is the 25th annual for People magazine. The first honor went to actress Michelle Pfeiffer in 1990, and last year's most beautiful person was Gwyneth Paltrow. The 15-year-old teen stowaway who survived a five-hour flight hidden in the plane's wheel well is recovering at a Hawaii hospital. Santa Clara High School principal Gregory Shelby stated that once the teen is ready to go back to California, he'll have unlimited access to counselors and psychologists. We have Randy O'Cray live in front of the boys' home with the latest on the story. Randy? Yes, Randy. The quiet 15-year-old boy does stay in the apartments which are behind me. He recently transferred to Santa Clara High School and is already the talk of the school. Classmates say the boy was extremely shy and had just transferred there within the past few weeks or so, but already wanted to move back home or run away back home. Apparently, though, to see his mother back in Somalia. The boy hopped a fence at San Jose International Airport shortly after 1 a.m., the dark of the night shielding the runaway's escape. According to a government official, the teen, who has not been publicly named, didn't just breach the fence, he stayed on the grounds for six hours Sunday morning without getting caught. Law enforcement officials said the boy just wanted to see his mother in Somalia, but he had no clue which plane went where. Eventually, he settled on a Hawaiian Airlines plane. Armed with nothing but a comb, he climbed into the jet's wheel well and hanged on tight. As the plane took off, the wheels came up, barely sparing the team from a crushing impact. It was just the first of several dangers that nearly took the boy's life. The temperature dropped well below zero and the oxygen levels diminished. By the time the plane ascended higher than the peak of Mount Everest, the stowaway passed out. It wasn't until an hour after the Boeing 767 landed in Maui that the boy emerged from the wheel wheel. 
Dallas icon and elite news founder Bill Blair has died. His family says he passed away at his daughter's home early Sunday morning. Blair was the youngest black first sergeant in the U.S. Army during World War II. In 1947, he founded a newspaper called The Elite News, which is considered to be the voice of the church and the community. Blair was a civil rights activist for more than six decades and even launched the first Martin Luther King Jr. Parade, which is now a staple in Dallas. Bill Blair was 92 years old.